Hello everyone, Vicki Ashard here with Nature's Best Art. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'd like to talk to you about my 10 top picks that made me smile this year. This time, around this time of year, I always like to think about that. And you know, it's getting towards the end of the year. It's almost Thanksgiving. And uh, so I know this year though, you know, it's been very challenging for everyone. Uh, you know, we purposely and, uh, you know, we have had to creatively think of ways, you know, to cope with this uh, this COVID. And it's been very difficult for, very, you know, so many of us. And, um, but I, I still thought of 10 things that, that made me smile. Actually, I thought of a few more, but I, I listed 10. And now they're in, in no order at all. Um, so let's start with the first one. Uh, nine date nights my daughter Susan sent us uh, she gave us uh, these nine activities uh, in a you know a gift bag that we could do for date nights and each Friday you know for nine weeks I would um, open the gift bags and you know it'd be they, she would put a <clears throat> excuse me a, like a tablecloth a beautiful tablecloth in there for us uh, you know, figurines to put on the table, activities, uh, you know, things to do. So, you know, the, our first date night, we uh, dressed up. We had a nice dinner. We made a nice dinner. And uh, so we were to hold a teddy bear, and then each time we held it, we were to say something nice, you know, as uh, to say something nice about Tom. He was to say something nice about me. But, um, you know, we didn't hold the teddy bear. We just left it on the table. But uh, so that was one of our date nights. So, um, but it was just wonderful to have that because we weren't going anywhere. And, you know, just, just for her to, you know, give that to us, it was just so thoughtful and it just made us so happy. And um, so the second thing I thought of was um, my, um, the social distancing walk, uh, walking we did with our children and uh, families. So Tom and I would walk on the street and they would walk on the sidewalk. And, um, you know, we would talk and just enjoy the outdoors. And so we did this, you know, with each of our families at separate times and, uh, you know, keeping our distance. And so uh, that was, uh, you know, just wonderful. Uh, and I'm reading my notes here because um, there's quite a bit to remember. So um, in, in, in thinking about the walking, you know, I, I go to the fitness center, you know, every, every day before COVID. And, um, you know, that stopped, uh, like, I think maybe the end of March, I think was my last time. So I thought, you know, I don't know, you know, my husband walks, he's walked, you know, outside all the time. He, he doesn't go to the fitness center. He likes to, you know, walk outside. And so I started walking with him and I really, really loved it. I, I just didn't think that, you know, I was so used to walking on the treadmill, you know, um, but I, I really loved it because we saw such, um, you know, wonderful things, you know, in the neighborhood, um, you know, and then we went, uh, you know, as, you know, flowers and, and we'll, we'll get into that in a minute, but, um, but we went to the Rochester Park here in Michigan and, uh, you know, we were t taking pictures. My husband was taking pictures of the ducks. And uh, then I, I saw this uh, ornamental tree, this unusual ornamental tree. And uh, I took a picture of that. And, you know, um, then around uh, the park there, uh, they have such beautiful homes. And so uh, we took, took a walk and saw beautiful homes. And then um, we also saw a deer. Uh, and then we, we would actually, about three times this, this past year, we would actually stop in a different neighborhood and, um, you know, see wonderful, you know, different things, you know, trees and, and flowers. And, and it was just a wonderful, you know, time, time to do that. So uh, let's see, my third um, thing that I thought of this year is all the flowers in, in our backyard and, uh, you know, front yard and also, um, you know, walking around and seeing other people's flowers. And so we took some beautiful pictures and I'm going to read these. So I don't want to miss any. They're, they're so beautiful. Uh, the beautiful yellow roses uh, were pretty this year. Our pink roses. 
And then we have a, a rose bush that's like hot pink or that fuchsia color. And the Black Eyed Susans, uh, you know, popped up really beautiful this year. And let's see what else. Oh, the Althea bushes. We have about three varieties. Two of them, two of them are in pink, and one's like a, a white with some pink around it or maroonish around it. So um, we really enjoy those. Um, my mother's name was Althea, and I actually I painted. Um, uh, an Althea flower in my Let's Paint um, with Vicky series this past year. So that was a lot of fun. And um, then our Potatellan bushes are yellow. Sometimes Potatella are, are um, like a like a rustic color, a, a paprika color, but, but ours are, are, uh, are, are yellow. And then um, we even started taking pictures of interesting leaves in the fall. The azalea bushes um, that are pink, we have pink azalea bushes, um, but the leaves turn a beautiful color. So uh, we even uh, took, took, um, took a picture of, of the leaves. So now we're on number four. The fourth thing I thought of this year was all the beautiful fall trees that we've seen on our walk. It just gives me goosebumps. <laughs> um, you know, I just love fall leaves and, um, you know, when they turn color here in Michigan. And so uh, we, we just um, really enjoyed uh, looking at it. And I think because they stayed on, on the tree so long this year, uh, I think uh, I think they did. Uh, if anybody else thinks that, you can, you know, uh, comment below um, what you what you liked uh, about the fall this year. It's 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 been wonderful, and this past week the weather's been so wonderful. So then the fifth thing that made me smile this year is we have our first great grandchild, and uh, it's a little girl. She was born. Um, Mother's Day, May 10th, and that was actually my father's birthday too. So we were just thrilled, um, you know, uh, of the birth of our first great grandchild. Now, the sixth um, thing I thought about, I'm going to group these two together because they're kind of similar, but it's um, we text with our family since COVID and we also have Zoomed with them, uh, seen them on Zoom. So the texting has been just wonderful. You know, it brought like a security, I think, to me, you know, to, to talk about how everybody, make sure everybody was feeling okay. And, and um, you know, then I'd see the pictures of my grandchildren. And we would put, you know, just anything and everything. I saw a rabbit in the morning. I would, you know, text them and show them pictures of that, uh, the birds and um, that I saw. Uh, you know the woodpeckers on the trees and um, then um, so here's uh, actually well what happened was with my text before I we, we show you this picture um, I want to explain you know I'm holding up a pencil trying to figure out I had to on my phone my phone only let me take a minute and 20 second uh, get video so um, what I did was I Excuse me. I would take uh, six to ten uh, videos, especially when I um, started teaching. You know, my grandchildren uh, different things. I wanted them to, uh, you know, be read to, be taught to. You know, things that grandmas do <laughs> with their grandchildren. Uh, sing to. I sang to them, and so that that would take time, right? So I would I would um, make a video, but it would take like like you know six to ten times and i i finally figured out that I, if i held uh you know like a paper up that said video number one then then when i went to my phone when i actually gave them all the text um the, the videos uh you know i could see that okay this is the first video send it to them second video send it. <laughs> anyway i finally figured out on my phone how to figure out what, what was the first second third fourth fifth but anyway, this you'll see me uh, figure trying to figure it out how to <laughs> show them what video to start. So, um, so you can you can see that. So that's that's one of my videos that I wanted to show you. Okay, this is how I know that I can see myself uh, for the next video. I'll hold up a pencil. Okay, okay. Now back to the hands. One more lesson on hands. Did you all count to ten on your fingers? Remember that song? One little, two little. Okay. Then you got up to 10. It was hard. The nine was hard. Oh, there, 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 there's a good way to hold the nine. 
Are you four yesterday, Margo? Yeah, four. Okay, now, this is my right hand. Raise it up high. You can do this with me, okay? Show me your left hand. I'll touch the sky. Right hand, show me your right hand. Left hand, show me your left hand. Roll them around, roll, 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 roll. Left hand. Right hand, pound, pound, pound. Can you do that with me? Okay, you do that. You play that and do that with grandma, okay? Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, now this uh, video, this, uh, this uh, video is when I actually um, gave myself a haircut. <laughs> And, um, you know, I, I, I took, a, you know, a video of it and sent that to my family. Um, you know, I, I actually, oh, I'm going to, no, there we are, there I am. I, I sometimes, once in a while, this uh, computer um, that I have on for these videos clicks off and I don't know why, but anyway. So, um, this text is um, a video of me. Um, giving myself a haircut and what I was going to say is uh, I used to give my husband I started a couple years after we were married uh, giving so it's been it was like we've been married 35 years I think I've been giving him a haircut now I, it's been like you know 33 years and um, so anyway and then I, I, I also used to cut my two sons haircuts Jonathan and Chris but um, as soon as they got older, they said, okay, mom, you know, that that's, <laughs> I think I'll go somewhere and get my hair cut, which I don't blame them. But um, anyway, uh, so, but, you know, I stopped in the last, like, maybe five, six years, you know, and I, used, I, I get my hair cut somewhere else. But because of COVID, I, I, I didn't go to get my hair cut anywhere. And I just started cutting my hair myself again. So anyway, so that's that video. So, here's Grandma with my new haircut. Yay, I got it done. Now, if you notice, uh, the reason I cut my bangs below my eyebrows is because when you put a curler in there, it gets them pretty short. So, I, I leave them right below and I do that moon type of cut. And then in the back, I'll show you the back. What I did is I just snipped a, a two things here two times here and then pull the middle and I cut the middle a little longer than this this part here because I wanted it a little longer. Can you see that? Let's see if I can see if you can see that. There. There's my hair in the back. So, so see? It's all set for probably about six, I don't know, six to Ten weeks, maybe I don't know. So, and the other thing I want to show you was uh, this product I use, Redken, and um, it helps my hair um, not look so frizzy. So I really like that. You can put it on wet or or dry hair, but it's kind of expensive. But uh, it was twenty one dollars at Great Clips. But I think I got it probably a discount. So there you go. So I'm all set. Bye. I'll see you. I'll see you next time. This is my Zoom time that I want to show you. We started um, every Saturday uh, getting together on Zoom with the family. And, you know, we have four children and um, grandchildren. And uh, we, have, we have seven grandchildren. And so um, that was so nice. And, and each time someone else would lead it. So the first time I led it. And um, uh, I want to show you pictures of, you know, what I did, what I showed them um, on the on the video, or on the Zoom rather, and um, so um, what what I my children my grandchildren were two and a half years to, to ten years, and so what I did was I started out with 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 a story for my two and a half year old grandchildren, and then then I um, and. It did different things, you know, for my older grandchildren. So here are some of those pictures.
So we also had uh, birthday celebrations, and that was so nice on Zoom because uh, what we do is we would send uh, their, their uh, grandchildren their cards and um, gifts ahead of time, and then they would open them up, um, and we'd send them happy birthday. So that was really nice. And um, so now, and I'm getting my other notes ready. <laughs> it's a lot to remember. Um, so let's see, number seven. Oh. I had a milestone birthday this, you know, this year. September 13th is my birthday. And my children surprised me with all sorts of surprises. And um, uh, so my oldest daughter had a barbecue uh, for my husband and I, uh, social distance. Um, and that was wonderful. And just wonderful gifts from everyone. And I talk about that um, on my artist blog. I actually made uh, five paintings of the flowers that uh, was given to me and um, so many just wonderful meaningful things um, that that they all shared and gave to me and uh, one of the things that they gave me was a scrapbook um, and I and I haven't mentioned this yet on my artist blog but I do want to share this uh, so on the first page of the um, scrapbook uh, they wrote the life the life lived for others is the kind of life worth living. We are talking about you today because you live to affect lives positively. So when, when I thought of that, when I think of how my children see me uh, like that, you know, I'm just so grateful for them and um, all the blessings, you know, that they give me. So then uh, my eighth thing was all our luncheons and dinners that uh, I had for all my family. And unfortunately, I felt a little safer if I just, you know, stuck with um, my family members um, and I didn't have them all over at once. It was se separate times. And so, um, you know, we haven't yet actually had other, you know, people like we, we always have people over for, you know, luncheons and dinners and, and, you know, I'm in a small group at church and we meet at our home and we have a Bible study and, you know, I cook and I just, I just love cooking and, you know, and, and serving. But um, I just, just felt safer if, you know, I just kept it with the fa with family members. So what we did was, what uh, my husband and I did was um, we ate on our deck and then a couple steps down from our deck, I put a table out of food for them. And then um, they would, you know, sit under further, further away from us under the under our apple tree. So they'd be nice and shaded. And um, so I even, I actually did put some food out for us in that middle table. So what I would do is uh, utensils that were, you know, that we could use, I, I would tie a um, piece of yarn around the utensils that we would use, um, and then they would use the other utensils. But um, actually what I also did was I used all paper plates and all, um, you know, paper cups, and then they would, you know, throw their garbage out, you know, at the end. So. You know, we, we saw them, but there was no, you know, um, coming into the house, you know, if they actually had to, you know. Um, but um, other than that, um, it was all outdoors. And, and right now, uh, we're um, having them over in our garage. So we have the, you know, the garage door open. So that's how we've managed that. And that's, that's actually been wonderful. Um, uh, so anyway, <laughs> uh, so number nine, okay, we're on number nine. Thank you for sticking with me all this time. I just love uh, talking about, um, you know, just just wonderful things that have uplifted me. I hope I hope that you have had um, times too, where you know where you can enjoy others, you know, social distance uh, wise and all that. So anyway, let's get to the number nine. Okay, so now. Um, so the paintings I did this year, uh, it, they gave me so much joy. I I was able to paint a lot. I finished my Let's Paint um, with Vicky series, and th those were on uh, watercolor cards. And um, so then, then the next thing I was able to do were my bigger paintings. And um, so I did a number of those. And um, Tom... Um, 
has to scan those in the computer yet and put those in my watercolor gallery. He's done that with some of them, um, but a few of them he hasn't. Um, so then, uh, let's see, I'm reading here because I haven't, <laughs> I want to make sure I, I, I tell you everything. So I, I love painting leaves and uh, behind me is my latest painting. Um, I'll actually show you how I uh, do these. Um, these are the, the two paintings I did uh, this fall for my my um, my leaf paintings. But uh, now this one here is um, was done in, in watercolor paints, and um, so I, I'd like to show you what I do actually um, because this this leaf right here. Can you see this? Yeah. Um, this is called like stippling when you go like this with your paintbrush and your um, your paint that you have on there. You put a couple glazes on your leaf and it had a lot of texture on it. So um, I would, you know, then my last time that I put my glaze on, I would actually do some stippling. You can tell the, diff the variation that the colors are so different. And some of the other colors I used... Um, on these leaves, I have my, uh, I'll just show you here, <laughs> that's what uh, I use, you know, to, to figure out my my paints. So I'm going to read this to you. I um, actually use burnt sienna and py uh, pyro red, burnt sienna and uh, permanent alizarin crimson, burnt sienna and quadacrum rose. And then I like this, let me show you, see if I, this one right here, that's a, um, Let's see, on this side here, I get all mixed up when I do these videos. This this one right here, this this bottom one on this side is uh, kind of burgundy. And so the burgundy was ultramarine blue and permanent alizarin crimson. Can you see those? That oh, turned out so pretty. I just love those, um, the orangish ones that I saw this year. And um, so then I do some spattering. Um, on them, uh, you know, if it's all white, I like to do that. And, uh, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll, dr I'll draw the leaves and then uh, paint shadows under them, but I just wanted to sp spatter this one. And now um, my um, other one that I did was, this, this is actually my first one. This is actually going to go in a 16 by 20 frame uh, and a mat. And then this one uh, is my first one I did this year. I love my 14. I, I did show you this on my artist blog already. This one I haven't shown you, so you're actually seeing that for the very first time. I just finished that this past week. And um, so this one, I just want to let you know that um, on my artist blog I talk about this too. When you um, do your leaf paintings, you just use your watercolor pencil. And you can actually trace around the leaf or, or draw them. And, and then um, when you paint them with your paints, that uh, when you activate the water on the watercolor pencil, it'll just blend in with your leaf. So you won't get the lines of the, um, your drawing the leaves with pencil. Um, you know, I actually, I actually don't mind, um, you know, pencil marks on uh, drawings. I think, you know, you can actually see the process of the painter, which I think is interesting. But on my leaf drawings, um, you know, I just like to use the paints and the, the watercolor um, pencils around uh, on the out outlining of it. So, um, so that was, that was my uh, ninth um, uh, thing that made me so happy is just, uh, you know, painting. I did so much painting this year and, and uh, I had time for that. And I, I, I really, really enjoyed that. So um, my my tenth thing that I thought of is that um, you know I cook a lot in in our household. I, I've always I've always been the you know a lot cook. Now my husband has cooked our turkey and you know he he does the grilling. He does all the all the time. He does the grilling, but I'm mostly the cook. But this year, because of the COVID, you know, he had extra time, I think, and he just took an interest this year of, of cooking, and he has made the most wonderful dish this year. Um, it was, uh, uh, I'm a vegan, and um, he's not, and um, so I eat tofu, and, you know, he says, you know, if I eat this tofu, I have to have it, you know, the way it's fixed really good. <laughs> 
<laughs> which I don't blame him. You know, he can barely actually taste it. But the way he made it was just absolutely wonderful. And um, so uh, he, he um, made the tofu, and then we um, made up some vegetables, and then he put curry in the vegetables. So we had um, vegetables, uh, curry vegetables, and, and the tofu. Usually he makes, um, you know, like I said, the turkey for Thanksgiving. And then the next day he'll make uh, turkey curry. It is wonderful. And um, so, so this tasted just like that, only with the tofu. Now, if you don't like the tofu, you could put, you know, you, you know chicken in it if, if you'd like. But, you know, I'm going to... Um, Probably next year I'm probably going to make some videos of us cooking, so I will give you that recipe um, next year. So those are my 10 top picks that made me happy this year, and um, I'd like to know what your what, what what made you happy this year. I know it's it's been such a trying time, but if there's something positive in your life right now, and uh, or if you're doing something to cope with the COVID. Put it in the comments below. I think, you know, everybody would be helped by that probably and uh, would like to hear about that. And uh, so anyway, so hopefully this, you know, pandemic will be ended, uh, you know, by at least uh, spring. And um, so, and, uh, but next year I plan to uh, share my projects with you that, that I do in the craft room like I did this past year, my paintings, um, you know, the cards that I make. And so I'm really looking forward to next year. And I hope that this video today has uh, brought you a little bit of happiness too. And I, I just thank you so much for your support and I thank you so much for, for watching this video. Until next time. Happy creating!